so I walk past it and I see a bike that can like cheers my eyes. I mean, I just say to myself, I want it. I just want it. You just take the sign off and it's easy just to lift it over. I mean, there's nothing on top of the pole. And if you was a bit bent over the thing, it's a bit harder, but it's just a straight pole. You just lift it over and then just walk with the bike, just take it along with you. It has to be against a gate or a wall or something that's so you can lean on it, just put the crowbar in and just yank it over. So the whole thing, the bike actually comes against the pole and it's like pushing against and the, uh, the D-lock is pulling, so it actually pulls apart from the lock. The bike falls and you just walk away with the bike, as I said. Um, when you put a bike up on the post, it's up to the owners how they lock it. Sometimes they lock it proper good. Um, sometimes they just leave, I mean, they just chain it up and it's not all done. Go, it depends on the chain actually, if it's a chunky chain, it's like you just put it on top of the chain and just cut it. You can't put it actually cut the lock, the actual padlock that's on the chain because that's a bit it's more heavier metal than we just cut the actual chain. The whole thing rips open and just walk the bike I and mean, the whole bike comes off because it's just one chain. Nice. It's really hard to do it on your own, you need someone there with you, either for a lookout or someone who's actually helping you actually take the bike. You can use a chisel and a hammer, I mean, just chisel it away the lock on the chain and you actually snap when it's on the floor. So when it's uh, hanging on the bike here, it's really difficult to actually hold it still and chisel it. So it's best when it's on the floor, I mean, it's like just cracking something open, it's like a nut. It's how easy it is. <laughs> so I'm just um, locked the front wheel or the back wheel, just one wheel, they just tie it up to the thing, not the actual frame. They just tie the wheel, so all it is, you just open the nuts from the tyre, and just walk away with the frame and you got the tyre there, just hanging. So you got the whole bike except the tyre that was locked up. If it's there, we just take it. If not, we just go somewhere else and look for another bike. If it's record, um, if it's registered under the police thing, I mean, they can find it because there's a serial code underneath the bike. What people do is just spray it, strip the whole thing off, put new stickers on. I mean, it's a new bike when the police see it, completely different to the one they've nicked. <laughs>